I'm back with another diamond painting unboxing from FG Normal. So these are the last three items in my order number 3891 from FG Normal. And I just, I always say the order number now in my videos so that I can keep the order straight and take care of all my paperwork uh, with regard to these, these videos because I do paperwork for my videos. Just saying. Okay, so this order has one item that is a rose tries, and uh, this rose tries is from Zara Sucker. And um, so I'm going to open that one first. This, uh, the numbers that I, that I have for my items here are number uh, four, 59, 460, and 462. So let's open 459 first. And this is the one that uh, Zara sent me as a rose tries thing. So this is a diamond painting that she saw on uh, one of the websites that I'm affiliated with. And she wasn't sure whether she wanted to buy it, so she asked me to try it for her. And so, as it turns out, I had already ordered it for myself. So this is a rose tries for Zara, but I had actually already ordered this when I got her, e when I received her email. So um, it just, just goes to show that she and I are on the same path in terms of, or on the same page in terms of the kinds of diamond paintings that we like. So I'm gonna zoom way out on this. I call this one Green Girl. And that's because in the uh, image on the website, which I will put up side by side with this, um, I got a sense that one of the overwhelming, not overwhelming, but one of the prominent colors was green in this. And I just thought it was so cool looking. I love this image. Love it, love it, love it. I wasn't sure what it was going to be though because it's described on the website for FG Normal as special shaped and I thought that's a big diamond painting to be all special shapes drills uh, and as it turns out there are some special shape drills but the, pri the predominant uh, like the, it's a full drill round with special shape drills in there, which is really cool. I've done a few of these and I love them. Uh, okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is pull back the plastic and there is a crease here that I'm afraid I'm going to have to iron out. I did a video just Friday, I think, or Saturday, um, of me ironing a crease out of a diamond painting exactly this size so I'm not going to do that again and anybody who wants to see that it's the great big seahorse uh, picture so if you want to look for my videos that have uh, the big seahorse in on the front page from the last few days that's the one that uh, that I ironed so you can see exactly how uh, to iron one of these things without doing any damage to the canvas or um, the glue or the plastic or anything like that. So yeah, the, the male increase here is, it's pretty deep. And yeah, this is not going to flatten out without ironing. Uh, but that's okay because uh, when it's ironed, it's going to be perfect and so I might actually iron it off screen and just show it to you because I think it's worth doing that um, just so that I also have the uh, the peace of mind that when I'm putting this away when it comes time to do this diamond painting all I have to do is just pull it out and start working on it I won't need to iron it at that time so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull this back. Alright, I'm going to uh, iron this 
and I'll come back when I'm finished with the ironing. Okay, I haven't ironed it yet because I thought I'll show you what I'm talking about before I actually iron the evidence of what I'm talking about out. So this crease here, this is, it's a very, it's a hard crease. And that crease, if I don't iron that out, when the drills are placed on this, they're not going to flatten the diamond painting. So this diamond painting will be forever creased, uh, even with drills on it, if I don't iron it, which is why I'm going to iron it. That crease is going to come out. It's going to be perfectly flat. And I will be able to drill this thing, and it's going to look beautiful because this is a gorgeous canvas. I absolutely love this. Okay, uh, next time you see it, it will be ironed. Okay, so I've done the quick iron of it. Uh, and for those of you who didn't want to watch the other video or who haven't watched it yet, uh, I used the wool setting and I used a very damp, not sopping, but wet tea towel, laid this face down on, I used my countertop because uh, I didn't feel like bringing out an ironing board. I have a granite countertop, by the way, so I'm not worried about burning the countertop. I would not use the countertop if I had um, like a, a meltable countertop. Uh, so on wool, and I pressed really, really hard and used the damp towel, and this is what you get, a perfectly flat canvas. It doesn't do any damage at all to uh, the plastic or to the glue, it's still just as sticky as it ever was. Uh, so anyway, and there you have a perfect diamond painting. This is as perfect as a diamond painting can be. Um, I'm just loving it. I'm looking at it through the camera, and yes, it looks a little bit better through the camera, but I'm serious, not much better. It looks, this is gonna be gorgeous when it's done. Okay. So um, let's measure it first. It is advertised as a 45 by 85 centimeter canvas, which is what I expect it is. I'm not gonna measure the canvas, uh, but it is 40 centimeters by, Uh, by 80 okay so it's 40 by 80 and uh, like I say it's round drills with some special shape drills in there and now let's take a look at the legend and there's a legend down here in the bottom left corner and up in the top right corner way over there all right let's take a look and I will blow this way up so that you can uh, see it better. A very, very simple legend that you see here. And I love the fact that it's got the DMC numbers. So there are three different kinds of special shapes. Uh, that's these ones down here. Uh, so that'll be fun. And then let's take a look at the canvas. And look how clear this is. This is going to be beautiful to work on. Now I think I could do it without a uh, light pad, but I will use a light pad for this. It's big and um, like I'll be working on it for hours at a time. So I'll do whatever I can to spare my eyes and using, you know, the light pad will help because these F's, even though they're pretty clear, uh, I don't want to tax my eyes uh, any more than I need to, so I, I will use the light pad. But look at that, and you can see where the special shapes uh, go. So that's just awesome. Now this is a super big canvas, so I'm not going to show you every little bit of it in close-up, but I think you get the idea there. And we will zoom in on her face because I do love looking at faces close up. And look at her eyes. 
I mean, her eyes, even at this distance, or uh, even this close up, you can tell that those are eyes. And as you zoom out, look at that. She's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this diamond painting so much. I think this one could become one of my all-time favorites. Um, because it's just so stunningly beautiful. The colors are fantastic. Um, I love this diamond painting. Okay, I am going to um, get the drills ready. We're going to take a look at the drills. And um, hopefully there won't be anything of concern there. And I'll be right back. Okay, so here are the drills. Look at these colors. Aren't they just fantastic? I love the color palette. Okay, and uh, we just need to make sure there are supposed to be 28 different kinds of drills. And we've got 14, 15, 16, 16, and 17, 18, 19, all the way up to 25, 26, 27, 28. And so now we just need 1 to 14. Let's, let's see. 1, 2, 13. Yeah, because 14 was the beginning of the first strip that I showed you. Okay, so we've got all the colors we need. Let's take a look at these drills. And it is a super, super cloudy day here in Ottawa. It's raining uh, a little bit, and it's... What is the temperature today? Uh, 12 degrees right now. Okay, with a high of 18. That's Celsius, so it's, it's it's not below freezing for my friends in the United States and other places that use Fahrenheit. Okay, let's uh, turn on the light so that we can uh, see these drills, and I'm going to blow you way, way up. Uh, okay, so we're looking uh, just for anything that stands out as a potential issue and if I find something I will point it at like I'll ring a bell in editing uh, I'll mention it if I see it now but oh that's pretty with the pink sprinkled in there I like that um, yeah. I, I'm not expecting to find anything wrong because uh, the drills that I'm getting from FG normal uh, seem to be really really good now you can never really tell until you start working on a canvas and you know you're actually working with each individual drill uh, but you know from the examination that I do when I'm doing these unbaggings I have been super super happy with the quality of the drills I haven't found um, concave drills really or at all um, there's very little flash and uh, the bottoms tend to be extremely flat, which is exactly what we want. So, oh my goodness, these colors are just so brilliant. Love them. Okay, that's the first strip. Let's take a look at the next strip. Yeah, these are really, really nice. So I've seen this diamond painting for some time, and... I, I've I've always liked it. It's been something that I thought, yeah, yeah, I want to get it. What I try to do when I'm placing my orders for diamond paintings is I try to mix round and square and special shaped and large and small canvases and medium sized canvases. So sometimes, you know, to get that happy mix of all the different kinds of um, diamond paintings that you can get, uh, you don't necessarily get to choose all of the images that you want. Plus, you know, you can't choose, you know, a hundred, a hundred different canvases in an order, right? <laughs> Unless you're made of money. Um, so it took a little while for this to get to the top of my list, but oh my goodness, this, I'm not kidding you. It's, I, from this unboxing, I think this is going to be one of my absolute all-time favorite diamond paintings. And I'm so, so glad I got it. And I can hardly wait to work on it. And here we have the special shape drills. So these are just 
beautiful. And again, look at those bottoms. They're perfect. The tops look perfect. And oh my goodness, so, so pretty. This is going to be amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I didn't show you the kits that come with it. Uh, let's see the kits right now. So we have uh, just a, two plain kits with a few extra little bags in there. So everything you need to complete this diamond painting comes with it. So that's awesome. All right, I'm going to put away the drills and get ready to show you the second canvas now. But I have to say that this canvas is an absolute win. Absolute win. I love it so, so much. So glad I got this. And Zara, I hope that any doubt you had about getting this is now gone and that you rush out and buy it right now. Okay, just a minute. Okay, so there's the green girl all ready to put away until her number comes up. And let's move on to the next diamond painting. So the next one is number 460. And number 460 is one that I call beauty. Uh, and this one is beauty number one. Now, something that I've found from hours and hours of perusing uh, diamond painting websites like FG Normal is that often the pictures or the uh, diamond paintings that are uh, women uh, are called beauty. Anything that's got a woman in it is called beauty. So I used to always try to come up with names for uh, these different diamond paintings that described the woman in the painting. Um, but now I'm just going to go with beauty and their number. So this is beauty number one. And because it's the first one that's named beauty on the website that I am also calling beauty. So I'll show you quickly the image before I try and flatten this out. And since I've got the iron out, I'm going to go iron it um, just to, to get it nice and flat. Look at that. Isn't she gorgeous? I saw this and I thought, oh my God, she is unbelievably beautiful. And I just have to have this in my collection and I can hardly wait for her number to come up so that I can drill her. I hoped that it would be as beautiful as this in this size, and I am not disappointed. So I'm gonna iron, and then I'll come back and I'll show you the side-by-side -side with the image on the website. Just a sec. Okay, that literally took me less than a minute to uh, iron her since I already had the iron out and everything, and I had the dish towel already um, you know, wet. Uh, so the male increases that this one came with, I wouldn't even have had to iron, uh, and normally I wouldn't, but since I had the iron out and everything was ready, it, like I say, it took almost no time at all, and look how beautiful she is, and she deserves a little bit of special care because she's so gorgeous. Oh my god, I love this so much. Okay, so uh, this one is number 460, it's called beauty number one, I know I just said that, but... I'm repeating myself. So sue me. Okay, uh, so this is 25 by 35 for the drill area. The canvas size is 30 by 40. And this is round drills. So, let me just label her. Okay, all right. So let's take a look at the legend. I'll just take you out of the holder so that you can see. Look at, well, you're seeing the side by side, so, or at least you've seen the side by side. So um, just, oh my God, she's so beautiful. I can't, I can't even express how beautiful she is. Okay, um, how beautiful I find her. Anyway, uh, so we've got, uh, DMC numbers on here and a nice simple symbol set and we have legends in both corners 
So let's take a look at the canvas. And look how clear that printing of the four on the black background is. That means that I will not have to use a light pad to work on this. I mean, I might use one, but I won't need one because the symbol set is so clear. And the printing on the canvas is so clear. This is at 0.6 magnification. So like if we zoom it up to one X, uh, look at that, that's just beautiful. That's what you would see if you were looking at this with your eyes. And I'm at about the height that um, that I would be working on it. Look at her. Oh my God, she's so gorgeous. Oh, I just love this. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, I am. I can't tell you how happy I am with the two canvases that I've opened so far today. Just over the moon happy. Uh, okay. So what I'm going to do now is uh, get, oh, I'll show you the kit. Uh, it comes with just the standard uh, pen, uh, boat, and wax, plus a few bags, which is nice. I always like bags. And um, yeah, so there we go. I'm going to get the drills ready. And I'll be back to you in a minute, in a second. another really really big one. Oop, do you want it? just fell on the floor. All right. So this is my last canvas for today and the last one in this order and it is called Peacocks and Flowers and I think it was advertised is it advertised? Yeah, it was advertised as special shape, but I can tell from the canvas that just like beauty number, uh, just like the green girl, the first one that we saw, it is uh, round with special shapes. And it's stuck in the bag, so I'm gonna have to tear the bag. Here we go, to get it out. There. All right, so first things first, Take the guts out of this thing. Oh, there's a lot of drills here. Lots and lots of drills. And this is one that I think I'll probably need to iron too. Uh, not a big deal. Okay, so look at those colors. Oh, holy smokes, it's so beautiful. And here we have two kits and they are standard kits. They have some bags as an extra. But other than that, it's a standard kit. So let's set aside. Um, let me take all this stuff off the table because this is going to be long. Uh, look at this. So this is number 462 and it is called Peacocks and Flowers number two because I have another Peacocks and Flower diamond painting. Uh, holy geez, this is huge. I'm going to Put it that way because that's the only way that you're going to be able to see it without it falling off the table. Uh, so I'm going to angle this a little differently. Um, you see all my messy floor, but that's okay. That's where I put all my stuff while I'm videotaping. Uh, look at this. Let me zoom just a little bit so that you can see as much of this beauty as possible. I think that's about the best I can do. Um, Ooh, that is, that is going to be out of this world beautiful. And it looks like the special shape drills go in the peacock's tails. I don't see anything in the flowers. No, I don't see any special shape drills in the flowers. They're all in the peacock's tails. But oh my goodness, this is going to be amazing. 
because with my eyes, it looks great. And through the camera, it looks even better. Uh, take a look at this. Look at that. Look at those beautiful, beautiful tail feathers. Look at all those special shaped drills that we're going to be placing. Oh my god, those flowers are to die for. This is gorgeous. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just pause for a second and iron it, and then I will be back. Wait, just before I iron it, um, I want to show you why. And because, again, normally this would be one that I wouldn't necessarily iron because all of these creases here from mailing, they're not going to be a problem. Those will flatten out while it's in storage. This crease here and this one here, um, let me show them to you up close. You see how deep that crease is? And you can see it on the back. Um, and the plastic has actually tented across the, the gap. And um, so that is what's going to cause this to make your drills, well, the canvas will never lie flat, uh, even when I pull back the plastic, which I'm going to do before I iron it. Um, but the, the canvas will never lie flat because this is such uh, a set in crease uh, these three these three areas that are creased here and so um, I have to iron them to get those creases out so I'm going to do that off screen and I'll be back and I'll show you this again when it's been ironed so I've done the ironing it took me maybe two three minutes uh, to get this perfect uh, and so now it is perfectly flat um, this will be easily drilled now and there won't be any creases that show up in the final image um, because it is nice and flat and again I used the wool setting on my iron for this so it looks great I think oh and there's Pippi eating her breakfast finally uh, it's been sitting there for three hours. Um, okay, so what are we going to do now? We're going to look at the legend and the drill area, and then we'll take a look at the drills, and that'll be it for today's video. Uh, but what I'm seeing so far is all good things. I like what I'm seeing on this diamond painting. Uh, now, I've got you as far down as I can go, and okay, you can see that. So I'm not going to I'm not gonna um, take you out of the cradle for this, I'll just move the diamond painting. So we have a total of 43 colors, including two different special shape drills. And I'll just hold this so that the glare doesn't make it impossible to read the canvas very clear symbols um, nothing that's going to be difficult to work with yeah this is this is just everything about this is fantastic and all right i'm just gonna organize the canvas here and take you out of the cradle so that i can show you the drill area and look at this even the fours, which are the white printed on, or it's black background with, um, you know, the remaining white on the canvas. Uh, look how clear that is. This is going to be absolutely wonderful to work on. I will not need to use a light pad, but I probably will, just simply because the light pad is, you know, always on my drafting table and that's where I'll be working on this diamond painting. Uh, look at how clear everything is. It's just about as perfect as a canvas can be. It's a nice size for this image. I'll take a look from a distance uh, in a little while so that you can see what this would look like if you were to hang it over your headboard 
or a guest room headboard or something like that, or above your couch in the living room, whatever. Along the sideboard in the dining room, if you've got a dining room and a sideboard, really all you need is a meter of wall, a little bit more than a meter of wall for this. Um, a meter being uh, 39 inches, uh, because um, I measured it off camera, I'll measure it again just to show you, but um, it's just over a meter long. So look at that. Very, very clear and you see where the special drills will go in the peacock's tail feathers and in the crown on the peacock's head, the crown feathers. It's just beautiful. So, okay, I'm going to pull back and show, well, I can't show you the whole thing because it's bigger than my table unless I turn it this way. But, I mean, look at that. That would just look fantastic over a headboard or above a couch in the living room. Just beautiful, beautiful colors. Oh, this is another winner as long as the drills are good. And that's what we're going to check next. So I'm going to set up the camera and get the drills ready. And we're going to take a look at those. Uh, oh, but first I got to measure. So just a Okay. So this is advertised as 45 by 110 centimeters. That is the canvas size. And so what we're going to do is we're going to measure to see what the drill area is. This is very, very long. It is 105 centimeters exactly by 40 centimeters, just shy of 40 centimeters. It's just over 39 and a half centimeters. So yeah, that's uh, like three feet and, well, what's, what's 105? 105 centimeters is 41 and a half inches. So that's a good long diamond painting. Um, okay, so I'm gonna set you up now to do the drill review. Okay, so here's the drill package and look at those gorgeous colors. Uh, I like this company that does these drills. So uh, I expect I'm going to really, really like the drills. Uh, no DMC numbers anywhere, so, you know, that just means that I'll be spending some time doing color matching to get uh, the right DMC numbers when I'm working with my spares. I expect there will be plenty of spares. Uh, so we're looking for 43 colors. And here we've got one, two... 20, and then 21, to 37, 38, to 41, there's a lot of 41. And then we've got the two special shapes. Okay, so let's take a look at all of the gorgeous colors. And uh, I'll try and go through this fast, but uh, I will ring a bell if when I'm doing editing I notice anything that uh, gives me any concern whatsoever that I think needs to be brought to your attention uh, while you're making a decision about whether to buy this diamond painting. nice and the colors are so beautiful and rich just absolutely gorgeous and I'm not going to turn on the flash now because it's dark but sometimes I find that the flash seems to wash out the brilliance of the colors and in this diamond painting well in all diamond paintings but in this one I really want you to see the true colors of the uh, drills that that we have here. Um, since we don't know what the DMC numbers are, I want you to really know the colors. 
because they're so gorgeous. So um, I just want to remind everybody about the Rose Tries uh, series that I'm doing. And so like we saw with the green girl at the beginning of this, uh, for Rose Tries, uh, what I do is if there's a diamond painting that you are really interested in purchasing, but you're not sure if it's going to look right or, you know, that you're not sure about the kind of drills that it's going to be, because sometimes the descriptions are wrong or they're only partially correct. Like with this one, it says it's all special shapes, but it's not. It's round with some special shapes. Um, so if you're not sure about that, you can send me an email at ramblingrosedp at gmail.com. The address is up on the screen. And put Rose Tries in the subject line and send me the link for the diamond painting that you want me to try. Now, one of the stores that uh, I will order diamond paintings from is FG Normal. There's a list of other stores down below. Uh, but certainly I would encourage you to shop on the FG Normal website. I don't have uh, like a, a formal affiliation with them. I don't get, you know, a commission or anything like that from anything that you sell. I also unfortunately don't have a discount code to offer you, um, but they do have gorgeous diamond paintings and we can, you know, we can be assured of that just from the three that we've seen today. They're absolutely beautiful. Um, and I'm not seeing anything at all that gives me any concern with these drills that we're looking at. Anyway, so send the email to me, put Rose Tries in the subject line, include the link or links to diamond paintings that you would like me to try for you before you decide whether to buy them. And uh, I will put them on my list and I will order uh, as many of them as I can in the coming weeks and months. And um, right now I'm almost caught up on all the orders. So uh, everything that people have said that they want me to try for them, uh, I have ordered most of them. And I think this week I'll be able to get to all the rest of the ones that I have uh, requests for. And um, yeah, so I will order them from one of the stores that is listed down below in the description and we will take a look at them together and then you can decide whether you want to buy it or not. Uh, it's really important that you include the link uh, because that will actually let me find your diamond painting. Um, and uh, it'll, I'll know what store you were looking in, etc. And I will order from that store if uh, possible. So um, yeah. I, I just love the Rose Tries program because it gives me an opportunity first to connect with my viewers in a different way than I have so far. I'm actually able to open diamond paintings that I know you will like, uh, as opposed to ones that I like and maybe you'll like. Um, and also, you guys are so nice to me, I want to be nice to you too. And I'm so fortunate to be working with companies like FG Normal, who... Uh, let me order diamond paintings from their catalog and um, show you the a small, small slice of the thousands of gorgeous products that they have available. So yeah, if you're not sure about, you know, whether the size is going to be big enough or whether it's going to be too pixelated or you don't know what kind of drills it has because it's it's not clear from the description, Oh, here we have a little bit of scratching on one of these drills. So we wouldn't be able to use that drill because it won't look right. Uh, when, when we have scratching on a drill, we can't use it. But look at these drills. They're going to be absolutely beautiful in those peacock feathers. Or in the peacock. These are the ones for the peacock tail. And these are the ones for the peacock crowns. And um, these drills look absolutely fantastic. This whole diamond painting looks absolutely amazing. Uh, I am so very thrilled and I'm so grateful to FG Normal for giving me the opportunity to uh, order diamond paintings that I can review for you. And I hope that you've seen something today that you really, really like. And uh, if, 
it, if you really, really like it, go ahead, buy it, because uh, that'll help ensure uh, that I can continue to make the kinds of diamond painting videos that you like to see. So thanks everybody. I want to thank my patrons who support my channel. I want to thank all of my viewers and subscribers. You guys are the absolute best. Uh, I want to thank FG Normal. For anybody who's not yet a subscriber to my channel, please take a moment, click the subscribe button, ring the bell so that you get notifications. If you want notifications, you don't have to click for notifications, but then you'll know every time I post a video. Take a moment, please, to like this video and share it with your friends. And also, leave me a comment down below because I do love your comments. So thanks everybody, take care, have a great day. I love you, I'll be back with you tomorrow with another diamond painting video. Bye bye for now.